Hello everybody, this is Jamison back on Oblivion, and I am here yet again playing Stardew Valley. Um, we're picking up right where I left off last time, just bought the new backpack, have a full 20 slots. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is 20, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's 24. Ooh, we got 24 slots, boys! Let's get into it. Um, what am I even gonna do today? What are my objectives? So we have getting started, cultivate and harvest a parsnip, okay. So that just comes with time. Uh, so once my parsnips are able to be harvested, we're good. But uh, I have four more people to greet. Uh, there's the mouse, the mouse, the mouse. Okay, here's the mouse's head. <laughs> Look at him! He's so cute! Okay, let's talk to him. Sylvester. So, you know what? A guy named- <laughs> Hi, Opok. Did you bring me coins? Good. Me sell hats. <laughs> uh, this hat seems like it would look good on a Cletus. So maybe I'll buy that once I have copious amounts of money. What's my next goal going to be? Because the backpack was my goal. I think my next goal is going to have to be a house upgrade. Uh, oh. I heard a door. Don't tell me that was her. <gasps> there she is! Yes! Oh, that's right! I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. She's the best! She has purple hair! She has a cute bow! She's adorable! She's my favorite! <laughs> um, that's 25 out of 28. Three more. So that's the wizard. I guess the mouse doesn't count. Um, I thought he didn't, but I just wanted to make sure. So we need to meet the wizard, we need to meet the guy at the Heroes Guild or whatever it is, the Adventurers Guild, which you'll see soon. And we need to meet, um, we already met Haley. Uh, who's the last guy we need to meet? I know I'm going in circles, but I want to go check up on how much it costs to build a house upgrade. But, uh, okay, wizard, um, oh, and Sam. Wizard, Adventurers Guild, Sam. Um, I'm gonna check up to see if Sam is out of the house in a few minutes. What is it? It's Thursday? Friday will be good because everybody on Friday actually goes to the saloon. So she's not actually here, so I can't check prices. That's fucking annoying. Um, I guess she's not gonna go back in. One thing about this game is that the people's shops operate on really terrible hours. Like, they'll say the hours they operate on, and then, like, half the time, the person won't even be there. They'll be, like, out doing their own thing. Listen, if I could be working and leave work and just hang out and do whatever I want, that would be fucking spectacular. But I can't. So, why did they get to? Uh, I haven't met her. I haven't met her. Come on. Talk to me. God damn it. I can buy shit from her. I also haven't talked to him, but he isn't a townsperson, I don't think. Welcome to Jojamart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide what you when you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help you transition to a joyous experience. Uh he seems creepy. Also, the bundles I've been talking about at the uh, community center, if you become a Joja member, they transfer to here. And the payoff for getting them all done, I've never gotten either of them done, but the payoff for getting all of the bundles done here is way less satisfactory than what you get at uh, the community center. So you're way better off just uh, doing the community center bundles. I really don't think I've spoken to her, so I'm gonna just wait until she uh, is done working, and then we'll talk to her. All right, she's got to get out of there at twelve. She's gotta. <laughs> this is so creepy. I'm just waiting outside the building for her. Are you kidding me? They don't live there. I know that for sure. Maybe they don't expect players to wait for them to greet them, so they like just teleport them back home. Oh man, I'm just gonna go. 
If she's not coming at 12, she's not going to come at 12.30. Walks out at 12.30. <laughs> that would fucking suck. It's like I look up her schedule, because all the characters are on scheduled uh, tracks. And then, like, her schedule says, like, leaves building at 12.30. That would suck. Oh, well. Uh... Yes! We are awake, boys. Why is my energy not all the way up? <gasps> Yay! Hello! Hello, Cletus. You see this dog here? Aw, oh, he's cute! I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor thing. Yes? Hey, it seems to like this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good dog? Yes, I'll adopt this dog. Oh, we get to name him, I forgot. All right, what are we naming this little pupper? We're gonna name this guy. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, what are we gonna name him? Chipper. We're gonna name the pupper Chipper. Chipper the pupper. Chip, chip, chippery, chipper, chipper. Yay! Chipper, that's you. Yes! Well, Chipper, you be a good pooch now, okay? Ruff! That's what he said. He said, okay! <laughs> Alright, where's my boy Chipper? There he is! Oh, uh, he's happy! He's running around! Good puppo! He ran into a wall, but I mean... That's all good. I'll get that letter in a second, because now that I have a pupper, got to refill his dog bowl. Ba -da 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 -da. I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can... Oh. I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon. Willie. All right. So, oh, there's more? To our valued Jojomart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant to in it to in it L six ten one zero nine one Jojoco Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. Yeah, okay. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Okay, that's cool. On another note, my parsnips are ready! And I can sell the fuck out of these. So I have nothing else to plant currently. So we're just gonna chill on that. But, I have 15 parsnips that have been planted, uh, cultivated, and now sold. So we're gonna make some money off those automatically. Um... What was it? I got this. Done. Getting started. 100G? That's alright. Not too good, but not too bad. Advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Reach farming level 1 and craft a scarecrow. I think I can do that. Raising animals. Build a coop. Okay. Robin can build me a coop. Okay, so we have some objectives, guys. Um... So, Scarecrow. Uh, do I not have that recipe? I would have thought that they'd give me the recipe if I got that fucking thing, but guess not. Um, okay, so my parsnips are good. Uh, build a coop. So I'm gonna want to check to see how expensive a coop is. Um, also talking to new people, I can actually go to the Adventurer's Guild now. Because I had mentioned that in the previous episode. Okay, let's move. It's only 7.30 a.m. It is not this bright at 7.30 a.m., guys. Okay. 9 a.m. Okay, gotta wait again. <laughs> Yo, I feel like one of those guys who waits outside of CVS, like, waiting for it to open. 
I used to work at CVS and like that was the worst. All right, let's go in. Hello. So, I can buy that shit, but uh, my first thought. Okay, so Coop is 4,301 and 100 stone. That's kind of a lot for now, but I can pull it off. So, um, first let's go to the Adventurers Guild, because I know we can use that to our advantage. Because um, we'll be able to mine, and that might be my bigger priority. Because in my first playthrough, I did a lot of fishing, and I'm not trying to do that again. This guy, forget his name. Okay, let's see what happens. <clears throat> Marlin, that's his name. He's the Adventurer's Guild guy I told you about. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Da 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 da! <laughs> I got a sword! You received a rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Alright. First of all, let's see if that... Oh, explore the mine. Haha, <laughs> that's going to be my next objective. Um, 25 or 28 still. So let me go to the guild quick and introduce myself to Marlin formally because I don't think cutscenes count as meeting them, which is kind of weird. Oh, I have to be a proven adventurer to go in. Alright, so right now, we're going to go reach level 5 in the mines, boys. Let's do this. Alright, so let's just mine up everything we can. First of all, let's take this. Uh, let's switch this with this and this with this so that my sword and pickaxe... Oh, perfect. Alright, so whenever you're in the mines... Um, Alright, the, all these rocks are just regular rocks. They're not going to give me much. But you want to dig and find the hidden ladder in each mine shaft. In each uh, section of the mine. Uh, but also, there are containers and special rocks with shit that you can sell. Um, so we're just going to explore, see what we can find. There's our first enemy. It is a slime. Let's kill it, kill it, die! And now, if you notice on the bottom right, I have a health bar as well. Okay, dead slime. Um, these could be the thing. Nope. Okay, so you, whenever you're in the mine, you're just going to want to keep looking around, uh, trying to kill enemies and find the way out. Also, sometimes the ladder can be hidden under enemies, so you're always going to want to kill enemies. Because if you kill one, the ladder might appear directly below where you killed it. So it's- oh shit! Forgot about those boys. Okay, now these guys just gotta be a little patient. Wait for them to come to you. Because if you hit them while their rock is down, then you're not gonna do any damage. They're just annoying like that. Alright! Uh, this one. Nope. Come on. Are you serious? It's one of the ones that I just passed by right in the beginning. Well, I guess there's a good few here, but... There we go. Also, you gotta be very careful to conserve energy, because fighting enemies and digging, obviously, takes up energy. There we go, perfect. So now while we're here, I will just fight some of these guys, take whatever materials they can give me, and, um, and I'm gonna want to also get- oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna also want to see if I can find any ore, or items that I just saw. Bug meat, okay. But there's a bunch of boxes. So I got some wood, stone, and cave carrots. Those are good. Uh, there's a little boy down here. Let's kill him. Alright, some sap and green algae for some reason. But there's still no ore. Ore will be very distinct. You'll be able to tell. It looks like these small rocks, but it has, um... 
It has little gems sticking out of it. Once we find one, you'll be able to tell. But uh, let's dig around, because I want to reach level 5. This is level 4. So one more level, and we have reached our goal, and we'll be able to enter the Adventurer's Guild. And I'd like to do that before... Um, I'd like to do that before uh, it closes, which would be at some point at night. I don't know exactly. Oh, perfect. And here we are. I should have explored a little bit. But, uh, okay. So, now that we reach level 5, um, we can take the elevator up to 0. And now we can take the elevator down to 5. So, every uh, 5 floors, you will be able to take the elevator down. And I'm pretty sure there are like 120 floors. What? I totally proved myself, dude. Reach level 40? Do I have to do that to prove myself as an adventurer? No, maybe it's like a scripted event. So let's spend the rest of the day just uh, going down in the mines. Um, I think tomorrow maybe I'll just get a letter that'll be like, Okay, you're proving yourself so you can come down now. But uh, I really don't think I have to reach level 40 in order to... In order to actually go into the guild. Come on. They take so long to kill. I just want a better sword, you know? I think ore actually starts showing up, like, around the next levels. Because that would make sense, because we already got past, like, the initiation levels. Come on. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. Nice. Any ore down here? Ooh, there's quartz. Oh, no. I hate those guys. What the fuck? Oh, I just pick up quartz. I forgot. Okay. Bastard. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Okay. There we go. I got a geode. Nice. I know. I bring those to the blacksmith and they can... Oh, copper ore. If I bring a geode to the blacksmith, they can actually um, open it up for me and get me a treasure. Have I met the museum guy yet? I don't think I talked to him in the museum, for sure. But, uh, I, I know I met the blacksmith, but, um, I might have not met the museum guy. In which case, I should do that soon. But, uh, we'll do that the next day. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. So, it looks like... The ladder is going to be under one of these. Which is annoying because I'm going to have to go through like every single one in case it's one of them. But you know what? I get stones out of it, so those will come in handy when I'm trying to build shit. There we go. Um, more quartz. Uh, Abigail, I'm going to start getting her gifts pretty early on so I can get some romance with her. But, um... She likes Amethyst. That's her favorite. So, that's like her favorite thing that you could ever give her. So, it's always good to come down here and get some Amethyst. Just to... Purely for the reason of just giving to Abigail. What? I received bug meat? But, I've had bug meat. What? Hold on. It was a journal entry. Where's journal? I think this is journal. Um, what the hell? Why did bug meat just show up? What? Whatever. I, I've got... Oh! That's some ore. That's what I was telling you guys about. Copper ore. Uh, okay. So we're gonna have to go digging again. God damn it. I hate digging around for this stupid ladder. There we go. This area is infested. Damn it, I hate this. You'll see. Oh no, I gotta do this quick. I don't have time for you guys. Come on. Bastard. Okay, so when an area is infested, it means I think once I kill Oh, what are you? I don't I've never seen one of you before. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill it, kill it. 
Die! Okay, what did you give me? Rubber boots! What is that gonna do? Hold on. Kill it. Okay, rubber boots, huh? What is that? Okay. One immunity. Okay, so it's just shitty armor. But I don't have any armor right now, so might as well. <laughs> Ew, they're such a gross colored green. Do they have some, like, special debuff that they're not telling me about or something? Like, they make you stick to the ground or walk slower? I don't think so. I think it would tell me if they did that. But, uh, infested areas... Oh! Infested areas, you actually have to kill all the enemies in. And then the enemy... Amethyst! Yes! Okay, okay. That's just what I need. Give that to Abigail. Come on. Alright. What level am I on? Um... It doesn't say at the top, but, um... Maybe this is level 9? I don't think so. Perhaps. I don't actually know. But, uh, yeah. Once I kill the last one, wherever it is... Uh, the... And... Oh, you bastard. I forgot you were here. Okay, kill it, kill it, kill it. There we go. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Oh, man. This is nine. Great. Just what I needed. Come on. My health is low. This isn't what I need right now, you stupid slime bitch. Come on. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Let's just dig around for the end, for the exit. Because once I get to ten, I can get the hell out of here, okay? Come on. Yes, yes, okay. And we got a chest! With leather boots, which are basically what I got. <laughs> oh man, I kind of wish it was something else, but what can I do? One defense and one immunity. Oh! Immunity helps against the elements, and defense is just pure defense. So this is just better, but... I don't remember exactly what immunity does. Whatever, let's go to zero. Um, and then we're going to head home. So I'm actually going to play a little bit longer for this one. Damn, this is a long episode. Um, I'm going to play a bit longer for this one so that I can... I can uh, give Abigail her gift. Oh, hello. What are you doing out so late? <laughs> I mean... I could what? He's out too? Oh, their house is up in that in that direction. What am I saying? For a second I thought they were going up past their house. Oh, it's Friday. Damn, everybody was at the tavern and I didn't get to meet them. Maybe there'll still be some people here? Oh yes, nice. Okay, so there's Pierre. Uh I met you, right? Yep, I met you. Pam! I haven't met Pam. Have I? Hey, kid. The name is Pam. <laughs> uh, okay. So, introductions. 26 to 28. So that means I need to meet Marlin and... Aw. Abigail and her friends are gone already. I guess they leave earlier than everyone else. Whatever. Alright, so now I need to meet two more guys. Um, that includes... Um... Sam and Marlin, I think. I think that's it. Like, I don't think the wizard counts, actually. Okay, so let's sell what we can. Let's just sell the bug meat, carrots, uh, this shit. Um, let's sell the quartz, why not? I need the amethyst. Let's sell the cherry bomb, the slime, the sap. Um... Oh, wait. Some of that stuff... Damn, I can't get it back. Some of that stuff uh, might have been things that I should put into bundles. Oh, well. Time to sleep! There's the scarecrow. <clears throat> Sorry, I was taking a drink. There's the scarecrow, guys. Uh, okay. So I made some... Oh, I made some good money. Oh, the parsnips. Okay. That's what did it. Parsnips got me 5K, 500, not 5K. 5K would have been fucking awesome, though. 
Okay. Alright, so we got some good money now, guys. Hello. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Thank you! So now I can make a furnace and smelt some shit. Um... The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay. I'm heading home. Take it easy. Thanks, man. What a nice guy. Alright. I see you've been explore. <laughs> I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit, that much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful. Alright. Sweet. Now if I go- oh, let's refill- What's his name? Chipper? Let's refill Chipper's water, and then we'll be out of here. Let's pet him quick. Yeah, good dog. And now... I want to see Abigail. But, um, I can slay ten slimes, um, make my way to the Adventurer's Guild, meet Marlin, do what I need to do, and then I can, um, meet Abigail. I have time for that. So, initiation. Ten slimes, and forging ahead, craft a furnace. Alright, I can craft a furnace, actually, like, very soon, because I already have, um, rocks. I think it only takes rocks, right? Let's actually check. Maybe not. Oh. Oh, it takes 20 copper ore and stone. Why copper ore, though? Ah, oh, whatever. It's not that hard to get, I guess. Uh, 10 slimes. Okay. So we're just gonna head down to level 10. And make our way down. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll reach 15 while I'm at it. <laughs> Perfect. Let's grab some copper while we're at it as well. Uh, there's the exit, so that's good. <laughs> oh no, you bastard. What does he give me? I forget. Come on. Shouldn't take this long. There we go. Geo, that's what he gives me, right. Bug. Alright, there's one. Let's kill him, come on. Alright, one slime down. Come on, die! Two slimes down, there's another way down, huh? That's cool. Come on. Oh, no, 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 I hate this, I hate this. Ew, no, 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 you stupid bug bastards. Bye! Alright, three slimes, oh, come on. You can't spawn me on top of a slime and actually tell me I'm hurt. You can't do that crap. Come on, get off me! Stupid slimes. The, uh, hit distance is weird. Like, this game's annoying with that sometimes. Um. Oh, you fuckers. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. There we go. Oh, it just gives me bug meat? So I'm gonna have to deal with these things and they're just gonna give me some fucking bug meat? No, oh, bastard, get back. Get mm, you're pissing me off. Hate them. Oh, uh, there's still more. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's be patient and just kill it because in the long run, they're going to be very annoying and I'm going to need to kill them anyway. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Are you kidding me? Come on, I just want to kill 10 slimes, dude. Just want to kill 10 slimes. That's all I want to do. That's literally it. There's no other purpose my life serves at this moment except for killing some slimes. So can we please just do that? Oh man, this is a long video, dude. Okay, so let's just dig around, I guess, and hope that we find the exit. Come on. <sighs> hate those things. Oh. 
There we go. Oh, that one didn't even give me anything. <sighs> you know what? Let's save some time quick and kill this slime just in case he has the exit underneath him. Are you kidding me? Another one? Are you fucking joking? You've got to be joking. Okay. Let's, let's make it quick. Dig around here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. 14. That's not bad. Not bad. I'm low on health. Damn. Okay. Do I have anything I can eat? I'm not eating my catfish. That's for fucking certain. Uh, can I eat bug meat? Probably don't want to. <laughs> uh, okay, ignore that. Um, just run around, see if there's already an exposed exit. If not, I'm going to have to kill some things. Alright, you know what? Let's just dig around a bit. Maybe there will be an exit if I dig around. Maybe one of these will be it. Because I just need level 15. Well, no, I need to kill slimes. That's what I need. After this one, I'm going to check my uh, objective. Uh, initiation. 8 out of 10. Okay. So now I need to kill two more green slimes. There's one more. Get out of my face, stupid bug. Stupid bastard. Come on. Oh, you bastard hate these things so much they piss me off dude there okay one more green slime that's only okay perfect kill it kill it kill it kill it kill it kill it okay we did it you're dead oh hello and that's 15 no oh it's every 10 levels is like the new thing. Out of my fucking face, you little fucking... Mm. We're going to zero. Okay, it's 2 p.m. We've defeated ten slimes. Now we can enter the Adventurer's Guild, and then I will go find Abigail, because I want to give her the amethyst. Oh, no, my camera's dying. Ugh, come on. Alright, let's do this quick, then. Okay, hello. I am in here now. Uh, can I go around the counter and talk to you? My camera's dead. Sorry, guys. Uh, I will make sure it's all good. Um, so I can get a better blade. Three to seven damage. Let's let's do that. Okay. So now I have a wooden blade. I can stop using this stupid sword. Um, let's go find Abigail and end this episode because my camera is now dead. Well, not dead. It's out of memory, I think. Uh, that was stupid of me to go for a long episode when I knew I didn't have that much memory left on the camera. Damn it! It's all good. We're almost at the end of the episode. So let's just get to Abigail and be done with it. Because I will just go to her and then I'll go to sleep. Like, I, I can skip this day. Because I don't actually need it. The point of this day was just to go to the Adventure Guild. There you are, babe. How's it going? Okay, first of all, the fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. That's awesome. Here's a gift. I seriously love this. You're the best, Cletus. <laughs> I forgot my name's Cletus, goddammit. <laughs> Cletus, uh, thank you. I know I'm the best. But, like, I wonder if the frogs will make an appearance soon. Yes. Okay. Let's actually check. Did that make any difference, really? Uh, was she on the top? She must have been on the top. Yeah, there she is. Okay. So, I gave her... You can give her two gifts per week. And one per day, I think. Um, so, I just need to keep gifting her amethyst. And eventually her hearts will go up and I will get better stuff. So, right now, I have some stuff I can throw in the box to sell. And then I'm just going to go to sleep. So we will sell the slime. Uh, green algae. Bug meat. Um, ooh. Actually, before we actually finish. Fiber. Cherry bomb. Let's Before we finish, let's head over to the blacksmith. Because he... Uh, not the blacksmith. The... Yeah, the blacksmith. He'll be able to open up geodes and give me cool stuff. Oh, you bastard. I thought I was going to have to go through him or something. Okay. And Blacksmith is over here. 
What? Closed at four? Okay. Oh, great, another thing. Have I met Gunther? I feel like I haven't, but maybe I did. Abysmal. I haven't. Not a single piece in the entire collection. <gasps> What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm, I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Yes, I know. I'm Cletus. I know everything. Come on. And donate. What can I donate? Uh, <laughs> the little pebble. I'll, I'll start at this spot. New reward. Nice! What do you give me? Ancient seeds? Yo! What is that for? Could these still grow? Ooh. It doesn't give me a grow like season. So maybe I should just plant these and water them and then go to sleep and see what happens. Damn. That's really interesting, actually. This game has some pretty deep lore, if I remember correctly. Like, there are things that happen that you just don't know about and you have to kind of dig to find out the actual, like information about them like I think there are times that Abigail will be at the cemetery just sitting in front of a gravestone all sad and she'll s and you can read the gravestone and see what it says I don't think it says anything that like is super remarkable but ooh, nice um, but it does say oh let's actually just plant my new seed and then we'll water it and then we will go to sleep. Go to schlep. Yes. Okay. Okay, I got something for sturdy ring. That's cool. All right. Uh, anything new? Nope. Okay, so this seed's still just there. Uh, that's not going to matter. I, I'm going to exit. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought share with your friends let me know how it goes anyway thanks for watching bye guys